Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a venue steeped in history. We're here at Stadium Australia in Sydney. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company in the commentary box today is of course Stuart Robson and it's first time around for these two countries in the group stage here at the 2023 World Cup it's New Zealand up against Norway well thanks Derek this is such an important game both sides will be desperate to start this group well let's hope we see some great football today A look at the New Zealand starting 11. Well, it's the basic 4-4-2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. Here's how Norway will begin the game. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And the game begins. Katie Bowen. Claudia Bunge. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Can she find the right pass? Real chance. And there we go. It is the ideal opening. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and the finish is really good. She just smashes that past the keeper. That's a top-quality goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Harvey. Ada Hegerberg. Plenty of options. Ingrid Sirstad Engen. Lund. High quality defending. Satchel. Wilkinson. It is a decent looking attack here. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity.
Played over. And blocked for now. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Graham Hansen. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Moving the ball effectively. Did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. Percival. Well, possibilities inside the box. Superbly read and executed. Hegerberg. Percival. Hannah Wilkinson. Chance to cross. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Running with the ball confidently. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Frida Mornu. Could be. And there we have it. She's only gone and made it a brace. Nobody can stop her. Well, here's the replay. And just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So 2-0 now. For Norway. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Frida Mornu. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Is this the moment? That is that for the first half here. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Might be able to produce from this position. What a good place to win it back and let's see what it leads to. That's excellent defending following the cross. Something to worry about here. And the corner's been given.
Who can they pick out? And a goal! Wonderful stuff as they accelerate away from the opposition. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Start the game and only one team in it. Chance. Page Satchel. Clean challenge. Graham Hansen. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Can she score? Just made sure nothing came of that. Hegerberg. Danger averted. Well, she has no intention of parting with the ball. And teammates around her. And running it back. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Magnificent defending. On she goes in possession. Can she pick the right option? Frida Mornu. On to Reiten. Hegerberg. Cuts in from the flank. Oh, fine stop. So making the substitution now. Over it comes. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. The clearance wasn't decisive. Frida Mornu firing it in. And fairly routine for her in the end. Well, doesn't have to do it on her own. And they have possession again. Just ten minutes remaining here. Well, she's gliding through. Tremendous ball played through. So now a corner. <laughs> Playing it short. Mielde. Hengen. It should be! A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal.
down to the final five minutes. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Black start. Really good challenge. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. It could be on for her. An alert piece of defending. There it is. The final whistle. Disappointment in the camp because it goes into the books as a defeat, Stuart. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out.